Hi and welcome to the video. In this video I'm just going to show you how easy it is to configure your existing Cloud NX cloud server to just increase the resources or decrease them if you want to and as you get billed uh, on a minute by minute basis it can help affect your costs if you're if you're finding that your server is too powerful you can reduce your costs by reducing it or if you're finding that you need to increase the performance you can increase it and like I say you can do that at any time. So here we've got my Cloud NX server, and as we can see, the status is off at the moment. You can only do this when your server is offline. But if we click on it there, it's going to scroll down to configuration and click edit on there. Now, when I deployed this, I deployed it on one of the standard plans. But if you want to change it to, a, you can either upgrade to a, a, another standard plan, or if you click on one, we can uh, we can then go and go to the. Uh, the flex section which means you can just change the v cores or the ram or the ssd now worth noting you can't downgrade here and the reason for that is because you can't decrease existing storage just because of the nature of the way storage works it's not possible to decrease that but like i said i could click on that and go with that or like i said if we go to this link here then we've got the option to go to a flex server and I could decrease my CPU, increase it. And you can see it's changing the cost as I do it. Uh, you can see the change to the cost. If I just wanted to increase my RAM, I could. Or if I, again, if I wanted to decrease, I could. And you could see what that would do to the total cost per month. And again, I can increase SSD space, but I cannot decrease it as I explained earlier. So if we just go ahead and give ourselves a little bit of extra RAM. And we're gonna see, it's gonna cost us 52 pound a month there. So if we click customize server there, and that's just going to go through and we can see the status there that's just adding that it doesn't normally take too long we can see it's already 10 percent done but it, soon that will get to uh, that will complete and we'll just be able to take our server online there and it'll automatically be able to make use of that additional resource and there we go that's already finished there so i can start my server up and it's ready to go and that's the end of the video thanks very much for watching goodbye for now